Hey fellow questions, it's Claire here and today I have a pretty cool exciting video for you guys. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is at Claraventing. You guys probably already know that I bought a brand new diesel truck and a new bigger horse trailer. I sold my last one because it was just time for me to upgrade. And I just bought my new trailer and I have it all set up with my new truck and I'm just gonna kind of show you guys it today. I'm also gonna introduce it to my horses. I can't wait to see what they think about it. If they like it, it's much bigger, has a lot more space. So I'm just gonna kind of show you guys a little tour of my new truck and my new trailer. I'm gonna throw some shavings down in it and introduce it to my horses, see if they'll load up in it nicely and yeah. So let's get into the video. I guess we'll start the tour off here. Um, it is a 2011 Ford F-250 Super Duty. Um, it is a diesel truck and it's in pretty darn good shape. I've had this for about two weeks now and it's been awesome. I've loved it so far. It pulls this trailer like a dream. It pulled my old trailer really easily also. I don't know if any of you are car people or into cars, but I'll just take the camera around it and give you guys a little tour. Um, there are a couple things that we're needing to get done to it. We're redoing the tint on the windows as well as, you know, we're going to get a bed cover and, you know, just some other simple little things that we're going to do to kind of make it nicer and make it ours. But for now, this is it. Give you guys a look-see. Alright, so this is the inside. Nothing too crazy or too fancy. Um, I did get a red steering wheel cover, of course, but yeah, I mean, nothing too crazy. It's still cleanish for now. <laughs> um, and we did upgrade to the crew cab to have nice big back seats for car seats since we're expecting our, our little baby here in a few months. So we've got some nice big back seats for car seats. And... Here's the, the wheels and tires if any of you are interested. We did just get a gooseneck hitch attached to it right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. We got that attached to it last week. That's the spare tire that we had to take out when we uh, put on the gooseneck hitch and it's so old and gross we need to kind of fix it up. So that's why it's still back there. But this is the back of it and everything. Here's the bed. Just plastic lined for right now but like I said we're gonna get a, a bed cover and we may do some may redo the bed liner nothing too crazy but I'm super excited about it and it's gonna be an awesome horse hauling and baby hauling machine and now it's time for the horse trailer tour and introduction so it is a Sundowner, which is the same brand as my last trailer. And this is the Value Light. My last one was the Sunlight. Um, but it's a four horse gooseneck trailer. I didn't get living quarters because I wouldn't use them. And I just wanted something that wasn't obnoxiously huge, but something that I could haul more horses with because my last trailer was only a two horse. And yeah, I only own two horses to haul myself, but to horse shows that I take my students to, I end up taking three trips of horses back and forth to the horse show, and it just wasn't making sense, and I needed an upgrade. So now I have room to haul four horses at a time, which is awesome, and it's going to be a lifesaver. It is a 2001, so it's two years older than my last one. So it's a little bit older, but it's still in really good shape, and everything on it is working. And it's pretty similar to my last one, which I really, really liked. So I'm really excited that I found this one and was able to snatch it up before anyone else did. So this is the 
driver's side of the horse trailer and this is the side that has the windows. So it has a nice escape door right here which is awesome. And it just has a little safety bar right here so we can open this up if we need to. I do have a pair of, of course, red trailer ties to hook them up to when they're standing in here. And the windows do drop down and they also have sliding vents. I don't know if you can tell, but I have these the vents open right now. But let's drop this window down. Really nice, really handy. It can have lots of airflow. Lots of nice big open space. The other two windows also drop down. I do have four window screens coming and on the way so that we can cover those up because obviously you don't want to be driving around with your horse's head sticking out the window. So yeah, that's all fun and exciting. Let me shut that up. Okay, and then up here on the gooseneck part, there is a really nice big window, which also does slide open. I'm not gonna show you guys that, but it's there. I don't have an electric jack, just have one of those hand crank ones. Got my nice spare tire, my foot and everything when I put it down. And then again, I oh no, I already showed you guys this, but there's it just hooked up right there. I really like this trailer because of all the chrome on it, which I feel like is really cool. And it kind of matches the chrome on the truck. But here's a little close-up view. Nice chrome on the windows. The tires are a little old, so we'll replace those at some point. But nice and big, we have four tie rings on each side to tie horses up to. And then here's the back, again, chrome. I feel like it's really pretty and really cool. Um, we have some light switches here for the internal lights. And then we also have a light up top when it's dark out. Again, oh, hi, there's me. What's up, guys? <laughs> up top, like I said, we have two windows with just sliding vents for airflow. And yeah, here's a little close-up of the other side. This side does not have drop-down windows. This is just the side where their butts are, so it just has windows that slide open and shut. And then obviously we have our tack room. So I'll show you guys around the inside of the trailer and then I'll show you guys the tack room. There's Oakley, wondering what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> Owen's just out there eating grass and Oakley's like, what's up, what you doing? Oh boy. Okay, so let's open up these doors here. Ta-da! Just like my old trailer, this trailer does have a collapsible rear tack room, which I haven't tried it before, but I'm pretty sure I'll just do that and I can shut it. Like so. And now, it's all open and we have plenty of extra space. And this last stall for this last horse is ginormous now that we have that shut. But if I ever need extra room to put tack, I can always move my saddle racks or just add extra back here, have more tack. And then I forgot to show you guys this, but it does have a butt bar right here so that when this is open, you have a little butt bar to shut your last horse in. That's it, it's really nice, got aluminum floors and it's got mats, pads all over the walls and everything, which is awesome. I'll open this divider here so you guys can see. Floor mats. Again, I've got my red trailer ties to hook them up. It's got vents and lights and all that good stuff. Look how much room room for so many ponies and yeah so super exciting and let's move to the tack room love this tack room you guys can't wait to show it to you got four rings again on this side to tie horses to um, we got a light on the outside of the tack room door and a window with a little vent which I already have open 
let's open this sucker up. There you go. Again, pretty similar to my last trailer. Just got a little basket here for stuff. And then this is it. Ta-da! It's really nice and spacious. So starting in here, we've got a little bench. It's nice and padded. And it opens up for storage in there, which is pretty cool. And then to the left, you've got a water tank, which is going to be awesome and super duper helpful. So you can just store water in here easily. Right here, you've got a little blanket or saddle pad rack. And then we have lots of bridle hooks up top, a little window vent. And then here is the saddle rack stand with four racks. And then bunch of space up here for extra storage. It's really huge and spacious. I don't know if you guys can see how far back it goes, but it literally goes back like six feet. <laughs> so lots of trailer storage. Again, there's light and a light. So yeah, the floors are carpet, which they need a little cleaning. I'll probably get a red mat here of some sort just to kind of keep that carpet from getting too dirty there. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add some shavings to the floor, get it ready to grab Owen and Oakley and test this sucker out. Okay, all set up with shavings. Ta-da! And now it's time to grab Owen and Oakley and see what they think of the new trailer. So, let's go get some ponies. Ooh, what is that? It's the new trailer, guys. All right, you guys, so Oakley's checking out the trailer as we speak. Um, I just tied Owen to the other side of the trailer to one of the rings so he can wait for his turn because I'll load Oakley up first. So I'm going to, he's sniffing at it right now. I'm going to walk him back and then ask him to hop on and see what he thinks. What do you think of the new trailer, bud? Come here. Let's see what Owen thinks. Owen! Hi, buddy. perfectly I'm so proud of them they're like whatever I left their fly boots on just because they're just gonna go right back outside to their pasture and I'll just have to put them right back on again but let's go inside and see how much room they have and see what they think oh and you're so dirty nobody's pooped in the new trailer yet hi handsome Oaks how you doing over there bud I'm just chilling I'm just chilling Hi. There's your face. You're so cute, buddy. How you looking in there? Oh, now we're pooping. <laughs> in the brand new clean trailer. Hi. You're so good. All right, let's see Owen. Hi. You too. Hi, cutenesses. <laughs> okay, I got you guys some treats. 
since you guys were so good. Oh. Dropped it, Owen. Good boys. are not very good at eating carrots. Good bull white. Thanks for testing out my new trailer. <laughs> you guys are the guinea pigs. Yeah. Time to unload them. They did great. because I didn't do it like I normally did it. I just had Oakley back out while Owen was chilling there. But they're so good, they don't even care. They're so good with each other. Oakley! Not time for grass. You're so big, you're just a large ragamuffin. Yeah. So I'm super proud of them. They both love the new trailer, it seems like. Oakley pooped in it and made it like his new home. <laughs> So they did awesome. Owen's always a little bit of a weirdo, careful freak when he backs out of the trailer. Um, call him Twinkle Toes. But yeah, they were both awesome. I couldn't be happier. Um, big thanks to these two for being the crash test dummies in the new trailer. But seems like it was a success, so that's awesome. I know. You just like to chew on things, don't you, baby horse? So yeah. Again, huge thanks to these guys. You guys were awesome. Um, seems like this trailer is gonna be awesome and work out for me amazingly, as well as the truck. I'm super excited. Can't wait to see what the future brings. Isn't that right, okie doke? Oh, you guys, they can't, the camera can't see me when you're all over me. They can't. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys liked seeing my new truck and trailer and enjoyed the tour. I'm gonna give these guys a couple more treats and then throw them back in the pasture. Tell them they were very good. And yeah, so, Oakley, you can't keep blocking me from the camera. <laughs> okay, this is always super dysfunctional. So, we're just gonna end it here. <laughs> so, Oakley, stop chewing on him. Oakley, stop chewing on your brother. He doesn't like that. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video and we will catch you on the next one. Bye.